Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you a Care Patron tutorial for beginners. Now this video will have everything you need to know about Care Patron and how it functions as an all-in-one EHR and practice management. So without further ado, let's dive right into their website. So here we have the Care Patron website. You can access this by typing in carepatron.com or just searching for Care Patron on your browser. So after you do that, you'll be able to see this landing page right here where you can already log in if you have an account or you can get started for free with their free trial account. So if you click on that, you're just going to have to follow the prompts and then you'll be able to sign up for an account. But as you can see, since I already have a free trial account, then it takes me to the Care Patron dashboard already. Now, before we begin, Care Patron is a comprehensive healthcare management platform designed to streamline administrative tasks for practitioners. Now, again, just to give you a quick guide on setting up your Care Patron account, so visit the Care Patron website and create an account using your email address, and then follow the prompts to complete your profile, enter your personal and practice details, including your name, contact information, and professional credentials. Now, finally, you can configure your settings by navigating to the settings section to customize preferences such as notification settings, appointment types, and availability. So just access your account from here. You can see the settings on the left-hand side, which is the toolbar. And then you can edit your profile, your workspace settings, billing and payments, scheduling, and if you want to restore any deleted items that still in your trash then you can also check it out on your settings so after that then uh, your account is basically set up so we're gonna try to explore what we have on our dashboard first so on the toolbar you have calendar activity inbox clients billing and payments your team contacts templates settings help and this uh, referral system right here and your profile so right over there and you can also uh, collapse this if you want more uh, view on your dashboard so let's check out our calendar so here if you have anything set up within the day or within the week or month then you'll be able to see it at a quick glance on this calendar shows you your schedule depending on what you set for your practice you can see that uh, since we're using a trial account we have a bunch of uh, pre-populated uh, fields such as this uh, initial assessment or final appointment for this guy so you can see John final appointment on Saturday which is today basically uh, Saturday uh, you can start a video call and then you can see that the status is already paid and confirmed you can create an invoice for this, you can add a note, or you can also book again. Let's check out this example for Sarah D. So this is already paid as well. Initial assessment, initial assessment of Sarah Doe. You can do the same things. You can also edit the details right here if you want to reschedule and change the appointment details, select services and whatnot. So uh, you have complete control of that. You can also trash it right here. Okay, so that's what we have for uh, this date or today's schedule. Basically, whatever you, uh, whatever appointments you have, whatever uh, appointments you set, it will appear on your calendar right here. All right, so first up, uh, let's try adding a new client or showing you how it works to add a new client. So you can either head to the client section right here or I believe there should be a quick uh, quick add button right here or quick action. Okay, so it doesn't have the client, but you can uh, from here you can quickly add an appointment, a new task, reminder, meeting, or out of office. Booking here, you can share your booking link if you want to share it to your social media or maybe email or wherever, then uh, you can access this. There's also a filter system and this is a uh, quick access to settings. So uh, again, going back to adding a new client, we can head here to the client section, which is where we were uh, a while ago. So we have some sample clients. So Bobby Doe, 
John Doe and Sarah Doe, the ones we saw from our uh, appointment on our date. So here you can add a new client by clicking on this button and just fill in the details. So first name, last name, status. So uh, right here, and then identification number, phone number, email, and you can assign a team member. So once that's done, you have a new client in your client list. And then uh, that's for adding clients. Let's see how to schedule appointments. So to schedule appointments, we're going to head back to our calendar. And then we're going to click on this uh, plus new or quick add button. And then we're going to create an appointment. So right here, the first option, so creating an appointment. You can select a client or attendees and then assign the team members. So some team members chosen are outside of working hours. So since there's a working, uh, a set amount of working hours uh, that's customized to me on this account, then you can see this icon. It shows that this is outside of my working hours. Same goes if uh, you choose a specific member or user that uh, that the schedule goes beyond their working hours. So here you can also invite relationships if you have some set up. There's also, uh, you can select the service that this client is looking for. So this can be final appointment, initial assessment, standard appointment, or you can just customize your own service. So this is basically uh, how you add a new service now to your uh, to your software, service name, display name, code, duration, and the price, of course. And if you want to add a description, and you can also assign team members. So anyone who in particular is capable of uh, accomplishing or providing this service. You can set a group event. So this uh, sets an attendee limit for the service. And you can also indicate if this is taxable. And for online bookings, uh, you can allow it to be bookable online. You can also allow for new clients to book this specific service. Once that's done, just click on create and this service will be added to your list. So again, select your client and then select the service. And then of course the appointment details, the date and time and add video or voice call. So you have care patron for video conferencing. You also have zoom for web conference. So depending on your preference. You can also have this repeat if necessary, then location and description if necessary as well. So that's for scheduling a new appointment. Let's go back there. From here, you can also already access adding a new task and then reminder and meeting and out of office. So anything you need to schedule your week or your business hours, whatever you need to uh, for your practice, you can easily access from this section or from this button. And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.